Today I am here at Kim's Pianos in Tustin, California, which is not the usual branch of Kim's Pianos I go to. But regardless, while I don't have the massive selection of concert grants that their Stanton location has, they still have a wonderful selection of high quality pianos, and this happens to be one of them. This is a C. Beckstein A190, so it's their Model A, it's 190 centimeters, which makes it around 6 feet 3 inches in length. Now what separates this instrument from the tippy top of the line C. Beckstein Beckstein is that this instrument is built in Germany, while C. Beckstein denotes their concert line as being hand-built in Germany. So this instrument is a little bit cheaper than the highest end of C. Beckstein's line, but despite that, it actually is a very good piano in my opinion. I believe there are some people who do not like Beckstein's Academy line. I think the harp appears to be most likely made in China. It has kind of a simple, basic appearance to it, uh, but it does the job, I think, and the piano overall, I think, has a really good sound. There are a couple of notes that are out of tune, but I'm just going to ignore that because the majority of the piano is fine, and the action is also impeccable. I don't think Beckstein cut any corners on the action compared to the concert line. The concert line and the academy line seem to use the same action because this plays flawlessly and has a really, really wonderful feel. And the tone of the piano is very similar to that of the concert line of Beckstein. Beckstein has this kind of unique characteristic sound where it's like warm in this range of the piano that I'm waving my hands over, but also clear. It's warm, but yet pure, and it's a really interesting sound, and this piano has some of those characteristics as well. So let me play you some music on this instrument. It's a dream to play because the action is light and responsive and really has great dynamic control. So I'll play a few different pieces of music here, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's start off with a little excerpt of Debussy's Claire de Lune here and test out the bass end on it, which also is really respectable. <laughs> Listen to that icy, cold, clear treble up here. I've been saying this so much lately because I've been reviewing so many European manufacturers of pianos who all seem to have this icy, cold, crystalline sound. So if I sound like I'm saying the same thing, it's because I am, because, because these pianos are consistently have this sound. This region of the piano, I think, might have a little bit more warmth in the concert line than in the academy line, but it still is very, very pleasant to listen to. And you can hear there that for the bass of a 190 centimeter piano or a 6 foot 3 inch piano, the bass is nice and fat sounding. Doesn't have the same richness that you would find in a semi-concert or a concert grand, but for the size of piano this is, it sounds absolutely fabulous. I just love the sound of this treble too, it appears so pretty.
really, really lovely and fantastic. Even though there are a few small things about this piano, like the harp, that are a little bit more basic and simple than on the concert line, the tone of this piano isn't compromised very much, and the feel of the action does not seem to be compromised at all, in my opinion. Let's see, what else can we play on here? Oh, I think this might work pretty well. I won't play the whole thing of that, but I will skip to the end of my piano arrangement of speech just to show you this, that this piano can in fact play loud and it does it very well. And of course, it can play traditional classical music very well, too. I don't think it has as much raw power as a, like a fazioli of this size would have, but it still has a lot of power for the size of piano that it is, and it has a nice fat sound even when being played loud. Some pianos kind of get bright and brittle when you play them loud, but this one does not seem to even in the bass end. <laughs> And of course, the nice bright treble is able to compete with the bass end and still be able to heard, be heard. It's really lovely. Lately, I've been finding myself really, really loving that German pure sound where the treble just naturally sings over the rest of the, the instrument, and that is exactly what this piano can do. Sounds so lovely right in this region of the piano, and the treble is bright and sparkly. It may be C. Beckstein's second line, but it still has a wonderful sound in my opinion. It's really, really fantastic. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review of a C. Beckstein piano. They're a relatively rare piano to find here in the States, but I definitely hope that C. Beckstein, and I believe they are working on expanding their line and getting it to be more well-known here in the States. And I also am thinking and working about, well, I'm not thinking about it. I want to do it, but I'm just, I definitely hope it will happen. I want to do a collaboration in the future with C. Beckstein and perhaps travel to Europe and go visit their factory. That might be really fantastic and that might be coming out in the future. So if any, if you liked this, <coughs> 
So if you liked this video, you might want to go check out the rest of my channel. I have lots of cool videos of pianos, organs, keyboards, digital pianos, and all kinds of other neat things. So if you like any of that stuff and you're new to the channel, you might want to check it out. And if you subscribe, thank you very much. Stay tuned for all kinds of cool things and possibly some neat stuff in the future involving C. Beckstein. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.